and you've dabbled in like you said downhill a little bit this year um, obviously there was that kind of opportunity I'd, I guess to, to try and have a shot at Worlds so you did um, I think the Canadian Crankworks and then silver medal at Canadian National Champs was it? Yeah. How much time had you had on the downhill bike? Um, I rode it quite a bit in the winter mm-hmm. I did like two races in February I did like the Threadbow downhill in Australia and then I did Crankworks Rotorua uh-huh. um, and neither of those went like overly like super well or anything but kind of just learning and getting the hang of it and then um and then i didn't ride it really from okay. then till like i got i had a bike in europe but then being sick i was like resting a lot during the weeks and trying to yeah. get better and i wasn't training and much and riding as much as i would have liked so I, yeah <laughs> dropped into the crank like with like crankworks with limited <laughs> time at at best um which a few of us like there's a few enduro guys there which yeah, is yeah. which is cool i mean home race like kind of makes sense and yeah it didn't feel super comfortable at, on that one but i was starting to get the hang of it a bit more and then um and then yeah had like a few like a week where i got like some good days on the bike and like got it a bit more set up and feeling comfortable for yeah. nationals and then um the track at nationals too was like it was like a good good track and stuff but it wasn't like a like a world cup ness track necessarily or anything okay. where um it was you didn't need to have like your bike set up for a world cup like okay kind of you could sort of it was more about just like carrying good speed through turns and okay, um, wasn't like crazy rough and stuff. So yeah, I felt like comfortable on that right away. So yeah, went um quite well. And then uh, yeah, went I kind of went there like seeing it was like oh, yeah I could hope like with a good race here I could qualify for Worlds and that'd be cool. It'd, do like i've been wanting to do some more downhill and like that's been like a goal and like last year with the injury it just almost like delayed it yeah, by a year like it just wasn't gonna happen last year so then this year um been like eyeing up some stuff at the end of the year which like that's what i did a few now and then got a few more coming up but um yeah worlds was quite it's quite an experience that I, I didn't, I kind of didn't know fully what to expect as far as like riding the, how it feel riding the track and stuff, just cause yeah. I never ridden like on a proper gnarly track. And from what I hear, that one's like kind of the fastest one out of all of them and like some people don't seem to really like it that yeah. are pretty consistent uh, long time like guys that have been on the circuit for a long time so but um yeah it ended up being just like a real like a testing camp like a test okay. camp for me to be honest like i was i went there like thinking like after nationals and like kind of um feeling good on the bike at home and stuff i was like yeah like we're in a good spot and like my setup's pretty good and like feeling quite good and then get on that track and I was like no <laughs> this this isn't the setup this isn't really this is, I don't know what needs to change but this isn't working okay um and uh yeah we just ended up having to learn quickly and try to make adjustments and like they're not like radical changes but it's like a little bit of comfort makes such a big difference to uh-huh. like actually just let off the brakes and like be confident and commit to the yeah. corner. So it was kind of just slowly getting more comfortable. And like where I w- ended up on the last day, like the race day, if I'd start, like I would have, that's where like I needed to start okay. on the first day and yeah. like work from there. So like now we're 
na- like like now i'm like okay now i'm like want to you could get another out. opportunity because <laughs> i'm like now we're kind of ready whereas like going into the race day i was like i'm not even ready to like race here like I, i'm like i'm just getting like i like my second practice run like i did three runs before the race and my second practice run i was like all right that's like my first lap where like i kind of feel all right like kind of decent <laughs> whereas like the other days i was like okay hey, like i'm not like this doesn't like i'm i'm not like pushing here like i'm feeling uncomfortable before i even yeah. like try to like like yeah my bike's just seesaw and i'm like watching oceans clip versus mine and i'm like his bike's just like hovering on top and just <laughs> he just stands there and like it looks so like stable and solid i'm like how i want my bike to do that <laughs> but, 40th place though man that's like that's a hell of a result considering the lack of kind of prior experience on world cup tracks and the work that you're having to put in like do you walk away happy with that yeah i was i was pretty um happy with that like i don't i don't know what to expect too much but um I feel like the downhill, like any enduro state, like uh, when it gets more gravity based and like you got to control your speed with, instead of like searching for speed and pedaling a lot, like that definitely seems to suit me more. So like, I guess I feel like I should be able to go quite well on the downhill even though maybe other people think that oh you're enduro like you're not you're not uh like this is a different different game which it 100 percent um yeah like the guys at the front are absolutely fine but um yeah i would definitely like to think that i can um do pretty good with a bit more time and a bit more like just set up and learning and stuff and um i'm gonna do a couple races at the end of the year so like i'm pretty excited to 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 give a good crack at that and just keep learning stuff like the main thing i took away from andorra is like my bars need to be higher (laughs) and i really struck like i like running a pretty low front end okay and with enduro it it works pretty good because like maybe it's not perfect in some scenarios but then there's so many times where like you're making quick direction changes and to have like good and like a lot of the corners aren't very like sometimes not very good and quite unpredictable yeah. and like having a lower and low front end can be positive as well yeah whereas on the downhill track and or where it's just you're braking so hard and your the steps are so big that there's not a lot of ad- advantages. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the fair. advantages and just kind of aren't really there versus the disadvantages, but it's hard to just chuck, you know, 10, 15 mils under the stem and feel comfortable. Like I, as soon as I go into like one of the flatter rutted corners, I'm like, I have no weight on my front. I feel so <laughs> uncomfortable. So that's something I'll have to work, work on because yeah. like, before Andorra, I was like, well, maybe I'll just be able to run a, because I had my down bike like as low as it can go on the front. And it still felt high okay. for me, like what I personally felt comfortable with. But then, so like going into Andorra, I was like, yeah, like maybe this is what, just how I like to run it or whatever. And then just like looking around and see, like comparing my <laughs> stuff to other people's and seeing what, what, uh, how like big of a gap like i'm like okay i'm just i'm just out of the range here like there's a reason why everyone has so many plates under their stem it's because like you just need like if the front is diving at all like you're just you just lose the stability yeah, you're not gonna win that battle are you? you just lose the stability like you can't fight it so that's something I'll have that's to get used to, which is hard to, it's, it's like, oh, I just, yeah, hard to change, make that change right away. Like it'll, yeah, it needs some practice. Maybe take a bit of time, but. Yeah. Um, cool. That's cool to yeah. see on some more Daniel though, mate. So that's good. 